At the time of its independence in 1947, India had undergone nearly two centuries of de-industrialization under the British Raj. While the depth and the breadth of this phenomenon is contested, what remains true is that India had fallen behind in two industrial revolutions that had passed by it. In the 1960s, a handful of Indian companies were producing germanium semiconductors. These were literally the brains behind the modern electronics. During this period, Fairchild Semiconductors, a pioneer in integrated circuit technology, considered India as a possible location for its first Asia unit. Soon, Bharat Electronics under the Ministry of Defence acquired germanium and silicon technology for producing semiconductor devices. So, India recognized the strategic importance of semiconductors early on. In the 1970s, the government established state-owned enterprises like Bharat Electronics and the Semiconductor Complex Limited to foster indigenous development. However, despite these good intentions, India's efforts faltered. India struggled to keep up with the rapid pace of global innovation. First of all, semiconductor fabrication plants require a constant uninterrupted supply of power and ultra-pure water, which was a significant challenge in India. Secondly, a destructive fire at the SCL facility in 1989 was a crippling blow that set the country back by years. Finally, with the economic liberalization of the 1990s, India's burgeoning software and IT services industry took center stage. This drew away talent and investment from the more capital-intensive hardware sector. Now, in contrast to India, Taiwan's success in the semiconductor industry was a result of deliberate, long-term government strategy. The country's government partnered with Maurice Chang to found Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company in 1987. The key to TSMC's success was its innovative pure play foundry model. Instead of designing and manufacturing its own chips like American giants of the time, example Intel, TSMC specialized in manufacturing chips designed by other companies known as fabless firms. This allowed TSMC to focus its capital and expertise on becoming the world's most advanced chip manufacturer, while its partners focused on design and marketing. This symbiotic relationship propelled TSMC to its position as the world's leading chip foundry, creating a silicon shield that has become a critical geopolitical asset for Taiwan. Then, China came to seize the opportunity. For decades, American companies like Intel were the dominant players, both designing and manufacturing their own chips. However, as the cost of building new fabrication plants skyrocketed and the pure play foundry model proved more efficient, many US companies shifted to fabless model, outsourcing production to TSMC and others in Asia. This led to a significant decline in the US's share of global semiconductor manufacturing. Meanwhile, China, recognizing its reliance on foreign chips, embarked on an aggressive state-backed campaign to build up its domestic semiconductor industry. Through massive investment and multi-pronged strategy, China is rapidly expanding its capacity for manufacturing. While still lagging behind leaders like TSMC in the most advanced chip technologies, China has made significant strides, particularly in the production of mature node chips used in wide range of products from cars to consumer electronics. This push for self-sufficiency has become the key element of the ongoing tech competition with the US. Now finally, it's India's turn. Today, the global semiconductor supply chain is facing new pressures from geopolitical tensions and supply chain vulnerabilities. This presents a golden opportunity for India to re-enter the game. The Indian government has launched the Indian Semiconductor Mission, committing over $10 billion to incentivize domestic manufacturing and design. India can leverage key advantages. To begin with, the country's growing electronics demand provides a strong base for local production. Moreover, India already contributes a significant percentage of the world's chip design engineers. 
And finally, the government's latest semiconductor initiatives are not just about building fabrication plants but also about supporting the entire ecosystem including assembly, testing, packaging and design. By building on its strengths in design and strategically attracting investments in manufacturing, particularly in segments like ATP, India can move up the value chain and secure its place in the global semiconductor ecosystem. I believe this can be the onset of the fourth industrial revolution in India. At the heart of the fourth industrial revolution are technologies that rely on powerful and efficient semiconductors. Indian Semiconductor Mission aims to make India self-reliant in these critical components which is vital for securing a place in the global technology race. The training and deployment of AI models, especially large ones, require immense computational power. Domestically produced chips from design to fabrication would give Indian companies and researchers the access and the control needed to innovate in AI from smart cities and healthcare to defense systems. Companies like Dixon Technologies are already creating capacities for such production. Internet of Things involves billions of interconnected devices, each containing a chip for data processing and communication. By producing its own chips, India can build a secure and affordable IoT ecosystem powering everything from smart cities to smart homes to smart factories and agriculture. Companies like Tata Alexi are integrating such chips in the tech ecosystem of modern automobiles. The next generation of robotics for manufacturing, logistics and healthcare will require high-performance, real-time processing capabilities. A domestic semiconductor industry will be able to supply the specialized chips needed for these applications, accelerating the automation of Indian industries. Companies like HCL Technologies are designing chips to customize the needs of various in niche industries. So whether or not Indian firms temporarily lose out to global peers thanks to the US tariffs and geopolitics, India must prepare to secure its place firmly in the technology race. Semiconductor chips will remain the brains of modern electronics for a long time to come and few Indian stocks are certain to cash in on the opportunity. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.